What you say in the first few seconds of your talk will determine to a large extent how the rest of your talk will go and how connected your audience will feel with you. And so in this video, we talk about openings, how to open your speeches, your presentations to ensure you have engagement, collaboration and cooperation of your audience. Now, this video is taken from a part of a training that I organized recently. Now, over to the video. Let's talk about your openings. For over 12 years, I have been a professional master of ceremonies and a highly sought speaker. I have trained over 8,000 individuals on public speaking, presentation skills, and event hosting. I am the author of two best-selling books, and I've been tagged the Queen of Talk. On my YouTube channel, my purpose is to transfer my inestimable years of experience to you, my viewer. My name is Joyce Daniels. Welcome to my channel. So your opening. So now we're talking about openings. Your opening is so important because they will trust you. And if they trust you, they will give you everything. It's usually easier and better to win them at the beginning than trying to win them halfway through. Some of them might be so disengaged so far, they, couldn't, they can't hear anything else. They are, they are cut off. That's when they go to WhatsApp. They start gisting with somebody else. They, they stand up. They actually get up physically, go to the restroom, go and eat. And it can be destabilizing because audiences don't lie. So when you're standing in front of, depending on the number of people, you're speaking to only 50 and 15 are walking out, that can really mess you up because you don't even know why they are walking out. And instead of concentrating on the other 35 who are seated, we tend to be wondering, where are they going? Why are they going? You are 35, a whole... Your time is going. And your time is going. And it's just it's going down. So opening, there are, there, are, there are some specific types of openings, which will be repetitions in some instance from here. Questions. Questions are such powerful opening tools. Startling statements. Startling statements. Research-based and must connect to the body of the talk. It can be good, it can be positive, it can be negative. Of course, most times the negative will have a faster impact. For example, you say, I asked how many people are in the room today, I'm told that 614 people are in this room. Do you know that of 614, by this time next year, at least 34 of us will be dead. People will now, hmm, even the God forbid is engagement. <laughs> and they go, but if I tell you one thing to do to ensure that you're not one of those 34, would you like to hear? Ha, yes, join me on the journey. That's an opening. So you may not want to use such a negative. If you have researched it, only if you have, don't just say it from nowhere. You must have researched it. Later, you can quote the research, but in the opening, you just use the startling statement. Six businesses on every street in Lagos fail every year. You know, depending on what you hear and how you want to say it, but let it be, the more startling it is, the easier it is for them to trust you. Jump on it. But it should be true as best you can, research-based, and it must lead into your talk. And you must provide solution. If it's a negative thing said, you must provide solution. Number three, stories. Stories, personal stories are preferred to historical and third-party stories because somebody in the audience may know the story better than you. The more detail the story has, the more trust you are likely to get. Don't say, I remember when I was in secondary school, this happened. Say, oh, I remember when I was in Federal Government Girls College, Abluma. Anybody who has entered, who has entered any FGC, who, you've won them. Trust, engagement. Better than saying when I was in secondary school, oh, when I lived in Port Harcourt. No, when I lived on Mboba Road in Port Harcourt. Anybody who has ever passed by it, whoo! Three weeks ago, down Oju and Legba at this place. Hmm. So the more, that's what we call speaking in color. 
So rather than say, oh, we got into the car, oh, we got into a red Honda Accord, and we was, anybody who has a Honda or a red car will feel you. The more details, the more trust. Oh, I broke my, my, my left arm. I think it was my ulna. It was the ulna. Was it my radius? It was my ulna. Any medical, anybody in there, you have won. <laughs> Not just I broke my arm. My left arm, and you're raising that arm. These are the details that make color, that make people endear, that make them trust you. You actually know what you're saying. I went to the doctor and they told me that it was the retina in my right eye that was, not all, oh, they told me my right eye had a fault. The retina, come on, color. Where is the color? Some people will tell a story and it falls flat. Same story someone else will tell because they've painted all the pictures. You've gone on the journey with them. You saw the tree, you saw the fruit, you saw the almonds. <laughs> you ate it, you tasted it. You trust them and then you can take in the message that they're bringing. What are, what are some things to be careful of when using an opening? Connection. Connection slash relate. Is it relatability or relativity? Relativity. Connection to the talk itself. To the talk and to the audience. Whatever you're using in your opening must connect to the talk itself. Acronyms will work everywhere. I'll, I'll, in fact, let me just put that asterisk here, acronyms. Though, I, I usually will talk about this under personal style. But yeah, it works. Hmm, now that you've pushed me here, let me talk about it immediately. <laughs> it's a style. Personally, I like to use this style a lot. Where you use one short word, preferably less than seven letter word. Brace, taste, go, come. And each letter will stand for some point you're trying to make in your talk. How many of us are ready to come up higher? And you say, use that word throughout your talk, come up. Now C stands for, and everybody will say with me, it's easier for people to remember that today we talked about come, come up. And the last one can open. It's an, you can use it as the, as the opening. Like uh, there's the one I did last year, need. And I said, was it need or did? Need, I do need, I do did. Need. And they're like, oh yes, you need to. So let me tell you what your need stands for. So I used it in the opening, yes. Whilst asking question. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me know your comments and questions. Do well to write them in the comment section or send me an email. My email address is at the bottom of this video. You can also click the link if you're interested in being a part of any upcoming trainings and I'll be happy and glad to have you in my class. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And of course, click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time a new interesting loaded video comes up. See you again next time.